Don't at all. That prospector wanted you to commit a horrible crime. How did you know that? He stole my boa, and now he wants you to kill me. Not exactly. Well, they can't kill me, because I have no desire to die. Fortunate. To be alive is to be fortunate, Roderick. To be alive is to be fortunate. Of course. In the morning when you first awake, it doesn't always seem so very gay. When you take your hair out of the drawer and your teeth out of the glass, you're quite likely to feel a little out of place in this naughty world, particularly if you've just been dreaming that you're a little girl on a pony looking for strawberries in the woods. But all you need in order to feel the call of life again is a letter in the morning mail giving you your schedule for the day. You write it yourself the day before. For instance, here are my assignments for this morning. To mend my petticoat with red thread, to curl my ostrich feathers, to write my grandmother, to save at least one young man, etc., etc., etc. And when I washed my face with rose water and scrubbed it, not with those idiotic cleansing creams they sell nowadays, but with a good stiff kitchen brush, and put on my pins, rings, brooches, pearls, bracelets, and necklaces, in short, when I'm dressed for my coffee, and have had a good look at myself, not in the glass, naturally, it lies, but in the side of the brass gong that once belonged to Admiral Corbet. Then, Roderick, then. I'm armed, I'm strong, I'm ready to begin again. Oh, my darling, my pretty darling. After that, everything is pure delight. First, the morning paper. Not these current sheets full of lies and vulgarities. I always read the gold rock. The issue of March 22nd, 1919. It's by far the best. It has some delightful scandal, some excellent fashion notes, and, of course, the last-minute bulletin on the death of Leonid Leblanc. She used to live next door, poor woman, and when I learn of her death every morning, it gives me quite a start. To recover from which, I take my fruit salts. Not in water, naturally. For no matter what they say, it's water that gives you gas. But with a piece of spiced cake. And then, Roderick, then, in sunlight or in rain, child calls. And it's time to dress for my morning walk. Then and only then do I begin my rounds. to bed, my plants to water. long stride and I generally manage don't I my friends yes the flowers have been marvelous this year and the butcher's dog on the Rue Bizet in spite of that wretch who tried to poison him is friskier than ever 
That dog had better watch out. He has no license. Perhaps he doesn't feel the need for one. Have you any qualification for saying that, sir? Possibly not, but I'm a...